It's looking like it's it's trying. You can tell that it's trying. Okay. Let me uh reseat. Like I can tell you like the baby keeps running over. See it does that. I feel like it's it's trying, but it's here we go, here we go. Ooh, ooh, we got it. Alrighty, guys, it is time for another episode of Ark, where today is the Gigantoraptor. Yes, it's finally released, and I did do a little bit of waiting and searching. I did do a couple dino wipes. I was trying to get a 150, but the best I could do was a 130, alright? Now, there were a lot more of these. This I did a dino wipe recently, but it seems like it doesn't want to spawn any more than two. I had one time where... They spread from down here all the way down to here. So it seems like they spawn generally in this region. I haven't been over to this side of the map, but I've flown around on the Rhino Nanthia and got this part loaded in and them spawning in. Um, but yeah, from what I understand as well, these guys are fairly easy and they're fairly easier now because I thought I was going to have to sit around and hatch a bunch of uh, Utai or get a bunch of Utai eggs, not hatch them. But, apparently, I don't. Since how I have a Rhino Nanthia, um, I can just kind of cage up the parent and go tame the baby like you're supposed to. Okay, so let's go get this started. This should be very easy, honestly, from what I've been told. So we gotta just go take the baby. Oh, I f do I have cryopods on me? I'm pretty sure I do, yeah. Because I haven't built the Utai egg farm yet i know i kind of like just got tired after building all those yesterday and logged off edited my videos and posted them i've not been really feeling that great the last couple days as you might have heard as well my voice is cracked on occasion for some reason so i'm mostly just trying to get the giga raptor here tamed then tomorrow we're gonna be setting up the breeding area because this guy up i think will help with eggs if i'm correct Okay, so here we are coming up on the Gigantoraptors. I need to get below the tree line so I can see. I think I pissed it off. I pissed it off. Okay. But if I'm correct, that's its nest there as well, isn't it? Yes, that is. I can see it now. Okay, let me... Do this. Okay. Now... I've been told that this is one way to do it, okay? So we do that. Please don't crash on me, game geez. I got a lag spike. We can do this. I can uh, the trees are in the way if I can come on ah jeez I literally can't see a thing because of all the trees oh I did the wrong attack I was holding control Did he go in? Yes, he went in. Okay. Perfect. That's what I needed. Now that it's in, we can go do this. So we run up to the nest, and we hit E. We hide in the nest, and now the baby should just approach us. All right? The parent is squared away, and it should approach us here eventually. I've been told it's ASD. That's Those are the buttons you have to hit for this. I mean, I'd imagine this... Oh, there, here it comes. So I just got to match what it does. Like it's going to do a little little jiggy. Hello? Are you okay? Are you... Did I break you? I've been told that I can just square away the adult. I don't have to worry about feeding it eggs. Okay. 
It's looking like it's it's trying. You can tell that it's trying. Okay. Let me uh reseat. Like I can tell you like the baby keeps running over. See it does that. I feel like it's it's trying, but it's here we go. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, we got it. We got it. That's one. So, that gave me 16%. And it is working. So, normally what you have to do is you gotta get the mother distracted. So, what you can do is feed her eggs. Or, you can do what I did here, which is basically lock her in a cage. Eventually, this baby should come back. See? Like how he, like, sprints back. He should just walk into the nest here eventually. Yep. You gonna do your jitty? So, there we go. I need a bow. There we go. We bowed. Now, I am on two, two times taming and with single player settings turned on. So... I'm loving this, all right? I didn't I was so excited about this creature. I was thinking we we're going to get it with the center, you know? Um oh, and speaking of the center, if you guys don't know, I am currently running a members goal for the YouTube channel. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. It's $1.99, and once we reach that goal of 10 members, we will be opening up an arc server. And I have decided that the arc server is going to be uh, the center. That's the map that we're going to use. Also, I almost missed that because I was trying to do my uh, my promo. Oh, and as well, if you guys don't know, we are we also have a sub goal. I'm just getting these out the way so I don't have to do them. We also have a sub goal. We're trying to get 10,000 subs this year. All right. Last year, we had the goal set to 1,000 and you guys crushed it. All right. We had a good month and a half before the end of the year and we smashed that goal. And now we've already almost hit 2,000, so I absolutely believe we can do that. This Iguanodon was in the way. I was trying to figure out what that was. I love the colors on this, though. We got pink and green and, yeah. There was one that I saw, but its baby got killed. It was a level 5. It was black and purple. I wish I would. I would have got that one just to tame the colors in. And that's something I might start doing. I've done it before in the past narc survival evolved oh if you don't know i had the praying mantis the mantis from scorched earth one of them it was the time of easter so one of them i got like this nice blue and pink and white and i named them blossom and it was just perfect i bred the colors in and all that i i wish we still i still had blossom blossom was one of my favorite creatures in arc all right then we also had Gunner, which was my Rhino Nanthia. I haven't decided on a name, though, for this Rhino Nanthia. Gunner was just named that because he was basically a gunship. You know, the Apache attack helicopter. That's what Gunner was. So I wonder as well, if I leave Mama here, does she perhaps produce another baby? I don't know. I don't know really how these work when they spawn. From what I noticed, like with the radar, it's they kind of just spawn in, and the baby spawns with them. Oh no, I did the wrong one! Ah, I'm sorry! Ah, I hit D instead of- I hit S instead of D. My fat fingers. We lost some. Oh no, this isn't going to be a perfect team, but it's okay. I fat fingered it. I'll bow to you. We got one more to go. If I didn't do that, we would have been good. He would have tamed right then and there. That's that sucks. Maybe we'll be able to get another one. Oh, if I could get a 150, that would be perfect. That's what I probably need to try shooting for. Because I need to get my genetic library built up again. And if you guys don't know what that was, back in Ark Survival Evolved, what I did was I went and got the best creatures, like the best stats for each creature, bred them in so that way I had like perfect ones. 
and that had cryopods. So if I ever needed a creature, I had the perfect one for any job, you know? I had just the perfect ones. Okay, let me let me see what you do. Let's do the spin! Yeah! Yeah! Alrighty. Uh, let me hit E on this. Oh! Oh, would you look at that? I actually can even imprint on you. That's perfect. Come on, my child. Let's go. Sorry, madam. I'm taking your kid. But I'll at least set you free first. And we are home. We got our Giganto Raptor. Now, what I need to do is we need to pop him out and make sure he doesn't die. All right, we got to imprint on it. Welcome to the family, my man. Also, do I need to learn your saddle? Giganto Raptor saddle. Okay, crafted at the smithy. I have everything for that. But, ooh, look at you. Even got a little. Uh, what are they called? Turkeys have them. Male turkeys have them, or male chickens even have them. Were they gobblers or whatever? That little inflatable thing on the front of their face. Or on the front of their neck. But you want care here in six minutes. Hope... I gotta see what your imprints are. I've tested my new imprinting and all that. I will get you guys another settings video here eventually. But I've tested them on uh, Utahs. So I know that they're good on a Utah. I've tested them on a Theri. They're good on a Theri. I've tested them on Ar Argentavis. They're good on Argentavis. So I don't see why it wouldn't be good on this guy. Also, he just turned into a juvenile, so I will be back with the saddle. Alrighty, so now I got me the saddle built up. Now I just gotta wait for him to be grown up. And I'm hoping I get like a 33% here upon the imprint. Okay, um, I'm hoping more for 50% here, because this is gonna be calling it close. And I'm really hoping it's not something stupid. Cooked fish, I can do that. Okay, got my cooked fish meat, this should work. Please give me 50%. Yes, I can do this. I can absolutely get 100% on this thing. 100, 100% posento. Alrighty, 10 more seconds here and then he's gonna want an imprint. Five, four, three, two, one. Please be not stupid. He's imprinted, that's 100%. That was the easiest one we could have gotten. That was a kibble. Or that was a cuddle, not a kibble. I, I'm stupid. I'm, I'm just going to admit it. I'm probably, like, clinically stupid. Like, I keep on messing up words. I can't even English anymore. Uh, but I will say this. Uh, this guy is a lot bigger than I thought they originally were. Jeez. They're kind of huge. Oh, now we can get our saddle on him. Look at that. So I've been told I can basically pick up eggs with them. Um, he gives me a, he does not imprint, but he gives a better chance of transferring over good stats. Really? That's what I've been told that the Gigantoraptor does. And then of course, look at that movement speed. Ooh, he's got, he's got a bit of a vertical. Not a, not, not macho one. Now we are on Carnivore Island. Let me, you got 3000 health. I'll play the gamble. I'll play this dangerous game. Why not? I mean, this guy looks awesome. He can, ooh, ooh, let's get a let's get one with him looking in the light. He looks kind of weird with the colors I got, but I can't complain. All right, I spent the longest time trying to get the highest level I could, and this was the highest level I could. And, oh, the pink, the green. It looks really cool, honestly. This dude is awesome. What I also want to do is I want to see his damage. Maybe find a raptor or something. Here we go. We got some stuff over here. He's doing 180, 200, 148, 148. Okay. Not bad. He's got damage. And that is with imprint, by the way. This is a hundred percent imprint. Chomp in this raptor. It's a 110 raptor, and he dropped pretty quick. 
Now, stat-wise, uh, I'd like to get you above 10,000 health. Why not? That'd be at least decent. And then... You, I've been told you can glide. How do I get you to glide? That's... Alright, that's C. I don't know what... <gasps> Wild babies tracked... What? So if you hit C, you track wild babies nearby? So I can just... Oh my god, this thing is quite literally a child predator. I, I don't know where to go with that. But it can quite literally track down small children with one call. I... Yeah. Also, I need to be careful on the jumps. That kind of hurt me. What is this one? I might just steal one of these. Ugh. Okay. We're in a problem. Got a bite. Keep on chomping. We're just trying to test him out, please. I'm going to test out my new... My new dino, please. Please. Okay. Right click is a stomp. What's left click do? Bite. Control. Alt. Uh. I wish... I need to see... I need to look up controls. Maybe somebody's posted them. Oh! I figured it out. I figured it out. Alright. I just realized as well I wasn't recording. So, let's call. Let's see if there's any other babies. I'll show you basically how it's done. So, we do that. We call it. Now that we see have that we have the baby marked, we can... Oh, jeez. I pissed everything off. Once more. If I can get... Alright, you see how there's a little reticle? Oh no! I hopped off! I just want to show you how you guys can get wild babies. Or, yeah. Where'd it go? I lost it. It died. Oh no, there it is. So, you see how it's running around? You see what, like, it, you gotta be kind of. Uh, it's tricky because that's also your button to dismount. I think you have to have them marked, so you gotta be able to sense them. And then... Boom! See? Imprint. Got him. Now that we got him as well, we can go here and... Uh, we can throw him in. So now we got two baby raptors in the saddles. That is perfect. I like that. Alrighty. So... I think what I need to do is probably call it here. We've done mostly what we can with this. We've tested him out. We've leveled him up a bit. Now, since I am a content creator, I gotta split up the next part into another video. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna go next episode, hopefully set up a breeding area with this guy incorporated somehow, so that way we can do all that. Or what we might do is because another thing, actually before I quit, we can do this. We can pluck their feathers and boom, I got, a, I got a feather from him. And if we look, this one has a 60% chance to inherit the higher food stat from a parrot. Now, I, I'm wondering if we have to feed these to or give, if it gives a baby. Yeah, I don't know how these work really. So once I figure these out, we might. But this one honestly is a trash one. You never get the higher food, all right? The food, I would say, uh, actually some creatures you need food, like Deodons, but mostly what I use as a dump stat is food, food and food and oxygen. Uh, the only one you don't use as a dump stat is uh, not oxygen. Well, the only creature you don't use that on is the Cryolophosaurus. Well, the Cryolophosaurus isn't in the, in, uh, in Ark Survival Evolved yet. Or Ascended. It's in Arc Survival Evolved, but it's not in Arc Survival Ascended. But anyways, you know the drill. If you guys have found yourself at all at any point liking this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. 
And as well, do leave a name for this guy. I do appreciate it when you guys leave my creature's names. And as well, once more, if you guys didn't hear me the first time, I am trying to get my members up, so we are running a members goal. So, we are trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. It's $1.99. Once we reach the goal of 10 members, we will be opening up an ARC server. Now, this ARC server will be the center, and it will be exclusive to YouTube channel members. And once more, I am also running a sub goal. We are trying to hit 10,000 subs this year, right? I really, really want to hit 10,000 subs this year. So, last year you guys crushed the goal. I believe this year we can crush the goal. And anyways, it's been Gunshy Mori, signing off.